sales are slow. But it's business. And I would rather have that opportunity to build something rather than not. ¿Centro? Sí. Vamos. So a year ago I made a, a TikTok video and it went semi-viral, got up to maybe like 40,000 views. The reason why I moved to Colombia. And I didn't want to have the distractions that Atlanta causes. The high rent, the high expenses. I wanted to... Let's go. I wanted to live below my means, and that was the goal. To live below my means and build a brand. And now, this is my everyday life. to engulf myself into the culture so when I made that video I was living in a condo on the beach in Boca Grande now I live in a barrio and if you've been following me you've seen the All Dreams HQ that I've built in the barrio
that comes with being a dreamer. That comes with putting something that's not in the world in the world. These are all the things that come with it. Now it's the new year. I really want to share the journey because it's a lot of people that I see that struggling. And honestly, I see too many things on the internet that's like not real. Getting rich quick is not real. And I want to be an advocate for purpose. I want to be an advocate for putting what you are supposed to put into the world. Your, your talents. That's the talent. Let's go. This is one of my favorite restaurants, Rio's. It's right here in the center. I come here for breakfast. How are you? I come here for breakfast all the time, so this is one of my favorite spots. And shameless plug. Me and my homeboy LJ, we made the 2024 Gringo's Guide to Cartagena so you can stay safe, have fun, and um, enjoy the city. Link is in the first comment. So remember that video I was telling you about that went viral on TikTok about me moving to Colombia? Well, a year later, after 50,000 views on TikTok, two of the biggest YouTubers in the black YouTube space reacted to my video and let it run through the almost a complete video and i'm going to react to their reaction and when i woke up i was outside my airbnb on the ground um on the concrete outside my airbnb my phone and my wallet gone which i just got a new phone yesterday the Twin Cities family is working to find answers. This after they say their loved one was kidnapped and killed in Colombia. The trash. So basically, this video starts off with it looks like a guy that's a passport bro saying how he was kidnapped and robbed in Colombia. Tragedy is also sending shockwaves through the local Hmong community. Our Pauline Lee joins us live in the newsroom with what we know so far. Pauline. For many American men, the United States simply does not provide the opportunities that it once did, not financially and not romantically. And many men understand that And the United States, for a lot of guys, has merely become a place to accrue the American dollar only to spend it someplace else. 
There are many men of all nationalities who are understanding that growing into the passport bros philosophy. And this particular brother did just that. He was living in Atlanta, but after living in Atlanta, he decided that he would move to Columbia. And here's his reason. Reason why. So literally, I watch O'Shea, O'Shea Duke Jackson all the time. And this was just another episode that I was going to watch. Uh, first off, because I had said about Columbia. And then um, I'm just watching the episode and I see myself. <laughs> Why I moved to Columbia is because I was living in Buckhead and yeah. my expenses were very, very high mm -hmm. and I want to really build a business. So I wanted to get rid of my expenses and live lower than my means so I can actually really build a company. So I wanted to have nothing. I didn't want to have things like sneakers. I didn't want to have uh, go out on dates, all of these things where I had this high overhead. I wanted to just downgrade everything so I can put my all focus on my purpose and wow. growing a company. So I was able, I'm able to live on the beach for like a thousand dollars a month. And that's more of the reason why I was living in Buckhead and my expenses were so high. So I didn't care about a car. I didn't care about the things that most people care about. I just wanted to get rid of everything and go after building a brand. Wow. That is incredible. So the fact that he let the whole thing play, I appreciate that, O'Shea. Um, this was a podcast that I did in like December of 2022, actually. And I was still new in the process of uh, going to Columbia and starting All Dreams. So the fact that this this video actually went viral and I'm not sure how viral it went. Right now, it's like at 55, 57,000 views on TikTok. So I don't even consider that really viral. But the fact that it got a little bit of traction was always, it was surprising to me. But then for O'Shea to pick it up um, over a year later, you know, that was also surprising. So let's see what he says, though. I want to give a shout out to Brother Hassan El Sadiq. If you follow him on TikTok, go and check him out or YouTube. But let me get back to the situation. This is one of the reasons why a lot of American men want out of the States. They want to build a business. They want to cut down on their expenses. But some other men want to find another opportunity at love or dating women that are not in the matrix. And that was the case with this particular comedian here. And his name was Tu Jer Shong. He lived in Minnesota and he had frequently visited Columbia many times. And as you know, it's quite cheap to go to Columbia. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right there. I don't really care about any of the other things that's going on. Because honestly, I don't really want to even be bunched into the Passport Bro theme, to be honest with you. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a businessman. And I've seen opportunity, and that's my reasoning. 80% um, of my reasoning uh, cost of living and these things like that. Uh, so and now I'm going to go see what MTR says, but I really appreciate O'Shea for, you know, like even picking up my video. Uh, but the reason I'm saying that is because this video right here has, the reason I'm doing this reaction because the video right here has 220,000 views. And if anyone wanted to connect with me, they probably don't even know where to connect with me. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this reaction video. Now let's see what, the, uh, MTR, uh, his reaction to it, because a couple days later after that, MTR picked up the same video and I'm just going to watch my own video again, but I want to watch MTR's reaction to see what his reaction is. And this particular brother did just that. He was living in Atlanta, but after living in Atlanta, he decided that he would move to Colombia, and here's his reason. The reason why I moved to Colombia is because I was living in Buckhead and yeah. my expenses were very, very high. Mm -hmm. And I want to really build a business. So I wanted to get rid of my expenses and live <laughs> lower <laughs> than my means so I can actually really build a company. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have nothing. I didn't want to have things like sneakers. I didn't want to have 
uh, go out on dates, all of these things where I had this high overhead. I wanted to just downgrade everything so yep. I can put my all focus on my purpose mm. and growing a company. So I was able, I'm able to live on a beach for like a thousand dollars a month, and that's more the reason why I was living in Buckhead and my expenses were so high. So I didn't care about a car. I didn't care about the things that most people care about. I just wanted to get rid of everything and go after building a brand. Wow. Shout out to my bro and fellow content creator, O'Shake Duke Jackson. He did this fantastic video of Passport Bros going to Colombia and the bullshit that they fall into, which I think is necessary information before ejecting yourself abroad. But to follow up on this brother's comments right here. <laughs> so when he says shout out, I thought he was going to say shout out to me, but he says shout out to O'Shea. <laughs> but here, let's, let's listen to him. And this brother's comments right here. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I actually started this YouTube channel when I was in Ohio. After I graduated with my master's of business administration back in 2013, I came on with a company, one of the largest companies within Columbus, Ohio. And as you see, that's why I still got some merch from the area. Shout out to Ohio State. I ended up being there for about nine years, but I started this YouTube channel at like year six and the reason why i stayed so long there is because the cost of living was so damn low and i sacrificed the fun that i could have been having in my late 20s and my early 30s because i thought that and knew that there was something else in the world for me as opposed to just being a nine to five corporate guy. So making over six figures there with the cost of living being so tremendously low and being so easy to access different things within the city made my ability to build my business and create content that much more easier than if I started everything within a high cost of living city such as a Buckhead in Atlanta, a Brooklyn, New York, or in LA. So I say this to say to all of my brothers that are living in smaller towns and cities, ensure that before you move to larger cities, you have the foundations of the structures of your business put into the place to the degree or to the scale where if you lose out on your time or if your cost of living goes up, the move will not impact your bottom line. Lego. Shout out to brother Hassan. So that's what MTR said. So MTR basically, did sort of the same thing that I did um, in order to build his his content business and his brand, where the, where he was living lower than his expenses. I mean, uh, he lowered his expenses so he can save money, so he can build his YouTube channel. And really, I think that's the way to go. Um, everybody wants to do these things and buy these things, these you know, these expensive houses, these expensive cars. Uh, live this expensive life they want to purchase these clothes and all of these you know just just the life right um and i think basically people are doing that only to show people that don't care about them what they have so i think it's pointless uh look i wear the same type of shit every single day gym shorts even though I'm a baller, so I'm used to it, but gym shorts and t-shirts, give me a hat or whatever. I don't have a designer piece of clothing in my wardrobe. If you do, that's cool. But I'm just saying like my purpose is to completely build my company up and you never know. Maybe I'll be able to ball later, you know, but ball to me would be buying a yacht, you know, it wouldn't be buying a car. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick reaction on on those videos that uh, <laughs> that uh, huge content creators did on my video. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, peace. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and continue to follow this journey.